video 12 and we're going back to image processing this is about segmenting structural images to work out which bits are gray matter white matter so that we can make some beautiful three-dimensional renders of the surfaces of people's brains later on in the video series there's quite a lot to this one most of it's just me giving it a load of blah to try and explain some stuff which you could probably read more quickly by looking at the contextual help but do uh, stick with it at least see what options to use and what you get out at the end uh, I've already said that this is a slightly misleading structural image to use to overlay our group data on because it's just the canonical image from uh, the SPM directory uh, it's not one of our participants so what would be preferable is to be able to overlay the data on, on our participants brains um, and also to be able to use 3D renders of the surface just for better visualization so what we're going to do is we're going to do is go back to image processing. We're going to use a segment function. So if you click on segment, you get the batch editor coming up. It looks quite complicated. Yeah, it is quite complicated. <laughs> um, because what it can do is uh, take a, a structural image and figure out which parts of it are grey matter, white matter, CSF etc and it can create new images which are just the, the CSF just the gray matter just the white matter um, but it can uh, also uh, warp those images as well so here we see it needs to know um, what volumes you want to uh, work on so I'm going to specify um, I'm going to use the structural from each of my participants um, note for some of them I forgot to throw away the localizers we don't need those at all um, we only want the images which are made up of 160 uh, slices so that they should have the same file name for each of our, our participants just make sure they're the ones from separate directories now we see here <laughs> there are, there are a, a lot of options uh, it says bias regularization it's on a light setting and then uh, some kind of smoothness filter and well what have we got here we have got the different types of tissue and should we just do everything the you have the option of the native tissue and the warped tissue um, and the native tissue um, means save a version of that image type in the native space that is subjects um, uh, uh, original space and warped gives you the option to save it in normalized space which we actually want so what I'm going to do is and under warped we have the option of modulated unmodulated or modulated plus unmodulated let's see what that means uh, unmodulated means it just warps the image that it's uh, created the segmentation it's done so maybe see uh, this is the first one will be the gray matter and so the gray matter will just be uh, segmented and then um, warped and it'll save a, a version of the gray matter in normalized space um, if it's modulated that means it tries to make the intensity the same across the, the whole image this is important because if you look at some structural images you just look at say the white matter across the image even though the uh, actual white matter in the actual brain is the same kind of uh, uh, consistency intensity color has a similar properties wherever it is uh, MRI uh, images often show a gradation a change in the intensity of the white matter typically along the y-axis and the y values and by modulating you try and you try and get rid of that and try and make it the same so what we're going to do is we're going to click on modulated for that and I'm going to do it for all of them. For where it says warped tissue, just click modulated. 
if we left at none it wouldn't save a warped version so let's go for warped modulated warped modulated warped modulated um, I'm just going to click on tissue right so we said what are these numbers one two three four five six well number one is gray matter number two is white matter number three is CSF number four is bone number five is soft tissue and number six is the the everything else the air around it the, the background um, it, it's interesting to look at all of them to see how well the segmentation works and what it brings out we only really need the gray and the white matter so to speed things up you can just uh, have um, native and warped for those and ig ignore the rest entirely but uh, if, if you've not done it before it's well worth pulling uh, out all versions even air background go on air background um, uh, just to see how well it does it uh, and to see what it looks like um, uh, there are some uh, uh, other other options here. Um, clean up. This seems very vague. <laughs> Things like clean up and, and regularization. It's best to leave them at their defaults. Sometimes they're things you play with if your segmentation hasn't worked very well. Um, also, one other thing to check is what's called affine regularization. Um, the way it works is using probability maps on where what tissue types are likely to be where, and this varies differently uh, with different brains and so there are two space templates one for European brains and one for East Asian brains um, that's not because there are only two types of brains in the world it's just because most of the uh, structural images acquired for research purposes are being acquired in, in Europe and North America and uh, East Asia mainly Japan etc and these templates are optimized for those if you get poor results just check this and, and see okay so that's a very long-winded way of explaining how to do the segmentation but just remember it's going to segment each structural image into a gray matter and white matter plus all the other bits and it's going to save that uh, as, an, an as the original space and also a warped version which should match um, our, our warped functional data so let's just click the button and away we go and see what happens. Okay, it's finally done. Just took a moment. Okay, so this segmentation process on the five structural images uh, is now complete. So we should have a look at what we've actually got. If you remember, there was a separate folder where we put just one structural image, if you remember to delete the localizers, one structural image from um, a participant. So this is participant 10, and this was their structural image the 160 slice 21 megabyte uh, nifty uh, we've got a whole new set of images here and a matlab dot mat data file as well so the prefixes here go through c1 through to c6 uh, and these are the uh, segmented versions of this structural image and so c1 is gray matter c2 is white matter c3 is csf C4 is bone, C5 is remaining soft tissue, and C6 is the, the air, the space, everything else around. Um, we have the same again, only this time with um, an MWC prefix. So the C1 to C6 are the same. The MW means modulated warped. Warped means normalized to the standard template MNI brain space. The uh, M means modulated, means um, that we should get the same intensity across the image, no, none of the variation you often get 
the structurals. Uh, so the best thing to do is actually uh, have a look at those. So let's go press the display button so we get to look at an image. Uh, go say to the first one, participant 10, go to the structural image. Here they all are. Um, well, let's look at the grey matter. Select C1 image, we've got the grey matter that comes up, and that is a good looking image of some grey matter. Be nice to look at all the tissue types at the same time just to, to, to check on them. Um, let's just do a little bit of a zoom in on that to see how good that is. That's actually done it really quite nicely. I'm quite pleased with that. To look at multiple images simultaneously, we use the check registration um, button. So I'm going to go back to participant 10. Structural. Um, <laughs> This time I'm going to look at the, the modulated warped ones. We can look at all six. L l let's look, look. Let's just press them all. They're going to all. They're going to be quite small. Here we have our figure window, and you can see what we've got here. These are warped to the uh, standard space. Um, and so at the top left we have the grey matter, the top right we have white matter, uh, looking good, it's looking good. Then we have here middle left the, the C3 is the CSF, so this is the cerebrospinal fluid, so if we just get into those ventricles we should see stuff there and surround, bathing the brain, there we go, lovely. Um, this C4 middle right is uh, bone. Um, that's that's pretty plausible. Um, this where are we going now? Uh, this one is remaining soft tissue. So what do you yeah okay stuff which isn't bone, but isn't anything interesting either. And then finally this uh, C6 is the is the air everything else around the brain. You can see it doesn't fit the box properly because it's been warped. It fit the original box it was in, um, the participants. If we saw that, that would be uh, look okay. But here, it's had to be warped to fit the brain shape. So that's everything outside the brain. All right, is it? Oh yeah, could be. Um, really pleased with that. That looks fantastic, and we can check it for uh, all the participants. Um, what do you do with this? Well, do you need to do anything with it? It looks fantastic. What we can do with this is use the grey and the white matter, um, or just the grey matter, to produce a nice three-dimensional surface, which we'll get to uh, in a moment. Um, there are always various things you can do uh, related to making masks or using as, uh, overlays as well, because it makes quite a lot of sense. It can be quite helpful to overlay just on grey matter rather than the, an entire image as well. In case you didn't notice, that segmentation across the five participants was really slow. I had to speed it up an awful lot. Uh, and note that we haven't yet got our, our nice three-dimensional vendors yet. That's another video. This was purely just segmentation, which is a really cool, really clever way of automatically splitting up the images into different tissue types. So make sure you understand how to do that, what you've got when it's finished, so you can go forward to later stages with rendering.